Hey, what's up guys? This is James from Strange Mowers. Um, if you've seen my channel before, I'm the one with the gray Craftsman Racing Mower. Um, if not, make sure you check it out. Um, today I'm going to be giving you an overview of uh, my truck. It's a 2003 Chevy S10. It's the ZR2, it's not the regular S10. It's uh, meant for off-roading. It has the nicer rims. It has fender flares all around. It's lifted, uh, I don't know how much it's lifted, maybe a couple inches uh, more than a regular S10. Uh, it has a much better stance, it's 4x4. Four four. Um, it has the 4.3 liter V6. Um, I do have some work done to the truck in general. Um, I'm going to be doing quite a bit more too. I have the bug deflector, which kind of looks nice. Because um, this, this whole truck is basically black on white. Um, it's got the black bug deflector, the black uh, fender flares. I don't know if you can see up there, it's got the black cab lights. I actually put those on myself. Um, it's got black bumpers. And usually the base Model S 10s, uh, from what I've seen, the bumper is the same color as the paint. And as you can see on this one, it's black. So it kind of all ties in pretty good, the black on white combo. And as you can see, I put a dual exhaust on it. It's actually a, uh, a Flowmaster 40 series muffler, and it goes out into a dual exhaust. Um, that definitely gave me a little bit more power. Um, I also have a high flow cat. Um, unfortunately, I live in New York, so I, I still need the cat on it, uh, which kind of sucks for emissions reasons, because that check engine light cannot be on so I could pass uh, state inspection. Um, it really sucks. As you can see, we just had a a pretty nice snowstorm today. You know, it's 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 not a lot, but it's it's wet too. It was just raining. So, um, but let me open the hood. Um, I'll tell you what I have done to the engine. Um, the interior is is really nice. Uh, I put a new a new radio. Um, it's I believe a Pioneer. Uh, yeah, it's a Pioneer. I put two new door speakers. Uh, the dash ones were actually replaced by somebody else. Um, it's pretty clean in here. Uh, I bought it really, it was in really good condition. The only problem is it's got a little bit of body rot right there that I gotta take care of, as you see. It's below the third door, uh, right on a rocker, which kinda sucks. Um, let me open the hood. And uh, I also put mud flaps on it, there, and on the back. And uh, it was it was kicking in because this it's not like the regular S10. These tires are actually out a little bit more. Um, so basically, when it kicks up sand and rocks, it goes all under my rocker panel, and it's all chipped and pitted. So I'm actually gonna have to respray that, which which is gonna be nice. That's gonna be some extra money to spend. Uh. All right. As you can see, I do have a cold air intake on it. I did go with K&N. Um, I mean, it, it definitely helps the gas mileage a little bit. Um, as far as performance goes, you, you really can't tell. I mean, it's a little bit better sound. Um, I just like the way it looks. I did not like the stock factory intake. It just sucked. I was actually making a video of it, of me putting it on, um, but it just did not come out good. I failed miserably, so <laughs> it's... It's really easy though, if anybody is going to eventually put it on, you can see, uh, if you're familiar with these, they have three bolts that hold the throttle body on, one, two, and, and one in the back in the center, and uh, all they do is put barrel nuts on them, because they're studs that come up, they do have threads on them, they're barrel nuts, and then uh, there's screws that go through an aluminum plate, this black aluminum plate, and there's a connector, which is actually a piece of rubber hose, and it goes into this plastic piece, which, there's another connector here, goes into your mass airflow sensor, there's another connector there, and there's a piece of pipe, and then your air filter is down there. Just, if you do get them, make sure you coat the filter in oil, because some people don't do that, and then water gets into their engine, and will basically kill their engine. That's why they sell the oil. Um, you definitely gotta make sure you do that. Um, I actually did a lot of work to the engine itself. I had it pretty much half apart. It all started with, uh, my intake manifold was leaking antifreeze because they don't use very good uh, gaskets. So I had to rip it half apart. It's actually very, very easy to work on. It's not very hard. Um, the timing case cover, I did replace that. I had to put a uh, new timing case cover, and that comes with the front main seal. 
and uh, to do it correctly you have to drop the oil pan and on my truck I have an aluminum oil pan, a big bulky aluminum oil pan that bolts to my bell housing and uh, you have to make sure you do that correctly or it will leak um, because you just it's going to be very very hard to get the timing case cover on. If you're familiar with Chevy you know how they do it and you know how it works. Um, luckily I have a four wheel drive so I didn't have to pull my engine all I had to do was basically take my whole differential and move it forward and I had to take all my steering and move it forward. I had to disconnect everything, move it all forward so I could drop that oil pan because I don't know if you could see down here. I'll try and get you a shot. Uh, it's all the way in the front. Uh, you can't see it that good. But it's a big bulky aluminum oil pan and uh, it's not like a regular steel oil pan where it comes down nice and easy. But it, it was a hassle, but it doesn't it doesn't have any more oil leaks, any more antifreeze leaks. It's all all good. Um, I also bought uh, it's called a Jet Performance Programmer for the computer. And there's your computer on these trucks. It's actually under the hood. Um, it plugs into your onboard diagnostics port, which I'll show you where that is. It's right under your dash. Um, actually somebody disconnected it on my dash, so this is it right here. It's actually just hanging, but that's what it will look like. And it bolts, I mean, it doesn't bolt. It connects into that, and you can program your computer. And that's what I did, and it, it actually helped my fuel economy. It definitely gave you, gave me a lot of power. Um, these trucks actually have a speed limiter on them, and I think 90-something miles per hour, if I'm correct. You could take the speed limiter off. There is a rev limiter too. Um, you could take the rev limiter off, or you could just raise it, because um, it is good to have that so you don't blow your engine up. Um, and it, it definitely increased my gas mileage. Um, probably getting like 17 around town and maybe 20, 21 on the highway, which is pretty good for these trucks. Usually they're, I think they're like 14 around town and maybe 18 highway, something like that. Um, I also, I just bought, I still have to install them, um, they're actually running boards. They're aluminum running boards, and uh, I haven't had a chance to do that lately because it's been really, really bad weather. Uh, it's been pretty horrible out lately. I still want to do that. Um, and then as you can see, I'll try and show you my exhaust. It actually cost me about $1,000 in total. There's the muffler over there. And you can see it goes into a dual exhaust. Goes from single to dual. And uh, it sounds really good. Um, make sure you check out, I'm going to make another video of an exhaust clip. Um, make sure you check that out. Um, I'm going to start it up and just show you how it sounds. It sounds pretty good. Um, I would, if, I, if you wanted a nicer exhaust, I would go with the Flowmaster 40 series. I mean, it doesn't make it sound like an 8 cylinder, um, but it does have a very nice idle. Uh, once you rev it up, though, you could definitely hear that it's a six-cylinder. Um, but it, it's, it sounds a lot better than the stock. Um, I like the way it sounds. Um, I also want to get a push bar for it in the future. I think that would look pretty good. Um, it's just minor stuff like that. I'll go along and, and do stuff to it. I wanted to get a uh, shift kit for my transmission. I want to do my transmission fluid. And uh, I want to put a minor shift kit into it. Um, it has, I think, 90,000 miles on it right now. So, um, also, make sure you check out our channel. It's actually me and my buddy share it. Um, I have, like I said, we're, we're actually into lawn mowers and stuff like that, too. Um, I have a racing mower that goes, like, 40 miles per hour. And, uh, my buddy has an off-road mower. It's a Murray. Um, it's a flat black Murray. Um, make sure you check it out. Subscribe to us. You know, tell me what you think of my truck. Um, make sure you definitely check our, out my other video of the sound clip I'm gonna do, and uh, I'll keep you up to date up to date on the uh, the stuff I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I still wanna get the push bar, and I gotta put the running boards on. They're gonna look real nice. Um, minor stuff like that. And uh, like I said, make sure you check out my uh, my other videos. All right. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? This is James again. Um, I actually forgot to mention, uh, I, I also did a throttle body modification. Um, this would also work with the 8 cylinders, because um, I believe they have this uh, a similar throttle body. 
Um, basically what it is, is it's the throttle body blade or the butterfly. It's what controls your airflow. And I actually have my stock one right here, as you can see. What happened was I bought another throttle body, a used one, just in case what I did didn't work. And I could put my factory one back in. And as you see, this right here, this piece is called a diffuser or a deflection blade or, or whatever. And uh, it's not flat. So what I did was I just put this in a vise. It's all aluminum, so it cuts really, really easily. And I basically cut it off. I cut this whole diffuser off. So instead of it looking like this, it's a complete flat plate. And I put it back in there. Uh, if you do this, make sure you get Loctite. Get, I believe it's the red high strength Loctite. Um, they make videos of this on YouTube. You could look them up. It's just type in 4.3 throttle body modification. And uh, this will come up. Um... It definitely improved my uh, response. The acceleration is a lot better. Um, it used to hesitate with it like this. And when I took that off, it, it's very, very more responsive. Um, it's, I mean, for an S10, it's quick. I mean, it's not fast, but usually these S10s aren't that quick. Um, I know factory, they come with 180 horsepower. Um, it depends on the motor. Um, I believe it, it ranges from like 180 to 190. Um, this one, I don't know which one it is. It's it's somewhere between that. Um, I'm figuring between the exhaust, cold air intake, throttle body modification, and the programmer, it's probably maybe 230 horsepower now. It's it's it definitely you could feel it. Um, it's night and day between everything that I did to it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very easy to do. Um, if you do want to do this modification, it doesn't affect the computer. That's why I bought the other one, the uh, other used throttle body, just in case. It would alter my computer and it would have the check engine light come on or anything like that. Um, it didn't, so I, I, it's definitely safe to do. Um, it's not going to hurt the computer. It's not going to hurt the engine in any way at all. It just gives it more airflow, and it, it's definitely it's not going to hesitate now. It used to hesitate like crazy with the other one. That uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, but that definitely improved it. Um, the, it's up to you guys. I mean, if you would like to do a cold air intake, they're pretty expensive. They're like, I think this one was 230. I got it uh, actually on a discount. Um, I mean, it, it it helps the gas mileage somewhat. Uh, my dad actually has a Ford Flex over there, and we put one on that. And it gives you the gas mileage reading. And it's been on there for a little while so far, and, and it's gone up. A mile per gallon so far um, and it's actually still increasing so he drives it back and forth to work every day it's actually like a 40 mile trip round trip so that's gonna save him on gas a lot um, I mean it definitely helps gas mileage it looks a lot better I mean performance wise you're really not gonna feel a whole lot um, it's supposed to in according to K&N it's supposed to increase it I think seven or eight horsepower this 4.3 in particular um it's very very easy to install um you could also look up videos of that on youtube they have that too um but thank you for watching um tell me what you think you know rate it rate it up rate it down uh make sure you subscribe to our channel check out our other videos um and uh thanks for watching all right bye